Hey guys, it's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another unboxing slash review. Um, this time is going to be of the Black Hole Toys Motorcycle Girl or Bulma and Bulma's bike. And I'll show you why I said that. That's what it's called. And we got a picture of Oolong on the back, the motorcycle girl on the bottom. It's not a wraparound image like the others might have been that it was too big. So it stops right there at the side. So your production image is here again, blown to hell. Uh, you can see pixels and graying of that. I wish they could try to resize the picture that when they print it out, it isn't so pixelated. But they are. And I'm going to need a scissors for this. So I'm pretty sure like each black hole toy figure I've opened now has had different tape sealing the box. I don't know if they're just toying with uh, different tape styles to see what they like, maybe uh, cost. Sit that on top of there. And here is all the stuff you get. So um, official figure arts, you don't get Bulma. You just get this. And you get this cool capsule. That's the motorcycle capsule for itself. A stand right here. I'm assuming you would get those. Um, Boma has a little pistol. Uh, you get your Dragon Ball, which you actually get with the official Boma. You get these two hands here are for gripping the uh, handlebars of the bike stand no idea what this is we'll figure that out and you get a little goku it's riding on the back of it screaming so let's crack this bad boy open it's a big one might have to move the uh figures Hey, that's why it won't open. It's taped here, too. That's the first black holes toy I had taped like that as well. So they are not consistent with what they are doing with their figures during the packaging process. I wonder if they have multiple places that do that. I'm going to set this whole thing to the side temporarily. So here is the bike. It comes in numerous pieces. It has wheels that actually work. Scroll down a little bit so you can see that. They actually have rubber on them. That is real rubber. Pretty crazy. And my background is falling down. All right. So real, real rubber, then this piece goes on top. It is removable so you can get Bulma and Goku in there. I'll show you how to attach those. Bulma comes with uh, this additional waist piece here. Uh, you pop her off at the waist, remove Bulma undies. Remove that waist piece and then everything else just falls off. And it's so she can be leg out sitting on the bike. Hmm. That is unfortunate. No, it's a peg. I thought the glue didn't hold. And it was a permanent malfunction of that piece, but it is not. So there we go. Enables her legs to go up so she can ride the bike. See how easy that is to manipulate her into a position in which she can ride it. 
fairly simple. As you can see there, it looks pretty good. This is how this comes off. It's sectioned in two pieces. There's like a peg hole right there. And then here are her alternate hands. Now be careful guys, these pegs are tiny um, for Bulma. So you might want to add some heat as to not break. And one of the things that I always thought looked hideous, look at that. Like is that an elbow? What is that supposed to be? So it don't don't look great but she holds the steering wheel fairly easily I didn't have to uh, do much maneuvering her hand slides right over it and it falls right out too if you bend it wrong guy is tight probably because of the paint there we go There she is holding both steering wheels of the bike and her gun holster fell off again. And that's actually interchangeable, so it absolutely is a peg, guys. Um, why the gun doesn't actually plug into the holster, I don't know, but you get an empty holster that you can use for when you have the gun out. All right, let's get... Goku behind her and if you can see that little spot there um, that's a peg hole for Goku's butt as long as it wants to plug it doesn't there we go now Goku's in. And one of the things I'm already seeing, do you see the paint? I'm hoping I can just scratch it off. And I can. There's like some extra paint on Goku's face and removed it right off. So not an issue, but there he is riding with Bulma. And let's throw on this. Plugs right in very easily. No issues there. Um, Bulma's hair slightly blocked it at first. quickly look at the capsule this is a very heavy plastic it says <laughs> excuse me hoi poi capsule motorcycle capsule corpse dragon ball um, clearly this isn't a on scale capsule because uh, she can pull these out of her pocket and this is almost as big as her uh, from waist to head. But a cool little P 
piece to include you get these two faces with yelling um, somewhat smiling she has a mouth open smile over here Bear with me guys, this Dragon Ball is hard to get out of the uh, plastic prison. So you get the two star Dragon Ball. Um, stars weren't put on. Like we have our officials, like our officials are done that they're no seams. See that big unsightly seam. Dragon Ball. Yeah. Officials do not have that. You get your Dragon Ball radar. This is an additional seat piece that you put on if you're not using Goku to, behind her. And here's a cool one that I do not remember the official having, but here is the actual capsule. So that's an additional piece. Here is the unholstered gun holster you can plug in. I hate that they do that. Just enable us to plug the gun in and you save on plastic. Here is the little tiny gun Bulma has. Now, this is a stand and this is a stand and I don't know what is for what at all. Huh. There is actually a working kickstand on it. Well, where the heck does this go? Huh. Something like this, so you can like pop a wheelie, maybe. No idea. I'll have to look at other videos to figure that out. Put the kickstand down. And the other thing we get. is our stand um, all right so this little plastic piece plugs in just like that you can tell with the designs of the pegs which way it goes and then this goes into a square opening like that and See peg holes in the bottom here. Yeah, that's for her to do a wheelie, then maybe uh, 
stick that under. Uh oh, battery's dying, guys. So, what is this for? Alternate non wheeling section. And there seems to be a plug hole right there that I don't have the slightest idea of how you would get it out. But yep, that stand there enables you to do stuff like that. Um, again, it looks like you should be able to get that plug hole out. But there is nothing I'm going to be able to use to uh, apply pressure to get that thing to move. If anyone in the comments knows how to easier, easier do that, simply do that there got to be a word i'm looking for please explain in the comments but uh yeah we're just going to go like that for now and these actual rubberized wheels are pretty cool pretty cool yeah i don't see any other peg holes that would be able to get used by that but that's how I'm gonna be posing this one right here um, other hands you get is a pointing finger gripping gloved hand you have that capsule hand a more open gripping gloved hand a open ungloved hand and that's it that's all you get for this guy so um, if anyone knows Explain to me what the heck we use stuff like this for. Let's see once the stands are on. I just don't know. Just don't know. Don't know what it could be used for. But that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up. And I, I deceived not only you, but myself. I said I was going to uh, do the like and subscribe at the beginning, but you know, I'm so used to not. I forgot about it. Next video. But yep, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me and be notified as I release, please subscribe to the channel, guys. And uh, can't wait for Black Hole Toys to uh, give us some more stuff. May maybe eventually some exclusive stuff, which would be awesome. I'd much prefer getting new figures than buying replicas and selling my old ones, but... If they do make them, and I do buy them cheaper, I'm going to sell the old ones. This one I don't have the original. I have the original Bulma. And by the looks of it, due to that Dragon Ball, I might actually be keeping her. Um, but I don't have the old bike. So I can't give you comparisons to that stuff. But yep, that's it for the uh, video, guys. Subscribe. See ya.